Hey, what's up everybody here and in this video we're going to learn how to assign a specific domain to your hosting account so we have this uh, TonyAgile.com this is the one that we're dealing with and we wanted to make sure that this is tied up within this hosting account though it's already been hosted in this um, hosting account and if you visit the site it says uh, Bluehost so that means it's using the default Bluehost index now, what we need to do is to actually assign a folder for that specific domain in which it says here unassigned so that's how um, Bluehost tie domains in their hosting account you have to assign it and uh, make it as an add-on to this specific hosting account so you can see it's say it says unassigned and uh, if I click uh, if you check that you will see in the main section of Tony Agile tab you will see that it says unassigned this domain is currently unassigned so that means uh, there's no associated folder for that specific domain so what I need to do is to assign this so I'm going to be redirected in this portion so you will see that the domain is currently associated but unassigned so what we need to do is to add it as an add-on domain and ensure that we are going to use an ex existing directory because uh, this is this directory already existed and uh, someone already cre recreated this or uh, made, made this domain as an add-on earlier but they unassigned it but we are going to use that but if this new if this is new you could just use this create a new directory for this specific uh, domain so the directory will be will be the f the folder where all your files going to be added so that means whatever you add so for example you install wordpress everything will be added to this folder in which to need agile folder within your cpanel account or your file manager so there you have it you have the existing directory what i need to do is to just assign this domain and once you click that you should be able to uh, get that domain assigned to this folder and be added to your hosting account you can see that i have a problem assigning the domain so what i need to do is to actually contact the customer support so it's good that we've experienced this so that we can just go and click help and we have to ensure that we are going to contact the customer support of Bluehost. This is one of the great things about Bluehost is that they have live chat support. So you just have to wait for them. You just have to file uh, the reason of why you're contacting them. So I'm going to go ahead and type in contact support. And you can see the process how I do this. So issue so I just have to type that in and I should be able to wait for a few minutes and Bluehost will give me a minute or a time frame how much should I wait before someone will respond to me so for now I'm gonna post this video until I finish everything up regarding with the setup or with the uh, chat with Bluehost so here we go we are now continuing the process of assigning the domain the live support of bluehost mentioned that it should be in a couple of hours because they are uh, working on the maintenance or working at the back end for some fix so it's already been I, th I think five hours so i'm now trying again to reassign the domain so again we are now in the domains and in assign section and we are going to select the correct domain that we uh, that we wanted to assign. Use somebody that's already associated with your account, and then of course we are going to use as an add-on and use an existing directory. And I'm going to use that and assign this domain. So let's see what I've got. Hopefully everything's fixed and that this domain should be added, or else. Uh, they mentioned they don't have ETA so I would probably have to wait a few more hours and do the same process again but I guess you already know how to do that and once the assigning of the domain to this associated uh, Bluehost account is done 
then everything should be good to go if you go to tonyagile.com it doesn't have anything yet all our uh, default files of uh, uh, Bluehost but if it's already been assigned to this uh, hosting account and it already has its own folder now you could uh, add the WordPress files in there and that should um, work whatever you input here so if you added a file on that specific folder that is being assigned or associated with this domain then that will reflect to this uh, website or to this domain once the process is successful you should be able to be redirected back to that uh, domains section and it will give you an information or note that it's already been assigned or added as an add-on to this hosting account oh and yeah there we have it so it's actually successfully processed so let's try to refresh again and select and yeah so tony agile and it says add-on so that means it's already been associated within this account so i guess that's all for this video you already witnessed the process and if you have any questions just let me know and don't forget to subscribe to ensure that you got all the other updates of this video series thank you so much and have a great and wonderful day